Good morning, Carol. Do you have time to go to the hairdresser? Oh, I'm sorry, Sophia. I can't today. Then for God's sakes, put on a hat. <laughs> what are you working on? It's my dear Aunt Martha column. The world is so full of lonely hearts. I mean, this man hasn't had a date for two years. Here's a woman who's desperate to meet Mr. Wright. I'm a fine one to give advice. I can't even meet Mr. Needs a Green Card. <laughs> you know what these crybabies need? A good war. <laughs> Nothing like the draft to make people less... Picky. <laughs> Here's another one. Dear Aunt Martha, I'm a 30-ish man who can't endure another singles bar. Where does a man have to go to meet an intelligent, available woman? Divorce court. <laughs> Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. Signed, Wistful in Miami. <laughs> Shakespeare, how charming. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you set yourself up with him? Oh, no, I, I couldn't. It would be unethical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's what you do. Suggest a place where he could meet intelligent women, and then you go there and wait for him. And how would I know who he is? Tell him to wear a sombrero. <laughs> Sophia! All right. A blue sport coat. Tell him smart women love that. Huh. That might work. I mean... Hypothetically speaking. Oh, and the most important thing, tell him to slap on some Old Spice. Plenty of Old Spice. Why? Because I got stuck in the company. <laughs> Interesting texture. Yes. I love how Kaminsky exhausts the blues. By the way, that's a striking blue coat. I'm Carol. Oh, hi, I'm John. Hi, John. Very nice to meet you. Do you come here often? Yes, we do. <laughs> This is a museum, honey, not happy hour at Fridays. What am I doing? I've got to get out of here. Oh, oh Jesus. Excuse me. Are you all right? I'm, yes, I'm fine. I, I just... think you made an illegal U-turn no, there. No, I'm sorry. It's just... Blue coat. But it's clean. Oh. It's just that apparel oft proclaims the man. Shakespeare. Yes. Kevin Millen. Uh, Carol Weston. Very nice to bump into you. Uh, pleasure was mine. <laughs> you were in quite a rush. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, to see this painting here. Ah, Diego's Dark of the Day. It's powerful. Turbulent. Now, if you stand back and squint just a little bit, it kind of looks like... Human suffering? No, coleslaw. <laughs> Are you hungry? Oh, sure. <laughs> Come on, I know a good place around the corner. Okay. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me. Hi. Can I help you? The question is, can I help you? Laverne, help! It's a salesman! <laughs> Have a comp 
supplementary pencil. Laverne is giving away free stuff. I'm gonna buy something. And here is my catalog. Can't you just say no? <laughs> Dr. Douglas, you have a patient waiting. She's a problem shopper. Whoa, office supplies, eh? Hey. Dr. Weston, give me that catalog right now. Why? Weston, wait a minute. I know that face. Harry Weston? Yeah, I'm sorry. Do, uh, do I know you? <laughs> Let me give you a hint. <laughs> Why, you're Jasper Hyde, Grand Marshal of the 1979 Hickory Lane Parade after you fell off the back of that Buick. <laughs> wait a minute. Eight, nine, ten. You're out, Tornado Mulvaney. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Of course, Tornado Mulvaney. <laughs> Who the hell is Tornado Mulvaney? Laverne, Tornado and I went to the Navy together. We used to box. Boom. Wait a minute. You tell me you knocked him down. Down and oh, out. Come <laughs> on, I got right back up. Yeah, the next day. Here yeah. you go. Give me a shot here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Doctor, I just picturing you in them boxing trucks with your skinny white legs are sticking out. <laughs> Those legs were so white, we used to pull his pants up and down to signal the other ships. <laughs> yeah. These are for you. Thank you. Hi, Sophia. Mr. Braxton, you remember Sophia. Oh, yeah. Patrillo. What can I do for you? I want to play some out. I got an old knitting machine I want to get rid of. Okay, what kind? I think she's Romanian. <laughs> Excuse me? She's my roommate. All night long. Clack, 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 clack. <laughs> Your little friend's amusing, Carol. Keep her away from my scotch. Oh, Sophia, you transparent little sprite. Nice cover, but I know you just stopped by to find out about my rendezvous de coeur. Hey, this is America. Speak English. <laughs> How'd you make out with Museum Boy? He asked me out for this Friday night. I can't wait. Oh, my. He wrote another letter to Aunt Martha. Who? Wistful in Miami. I mean, Kevin. Dear Aunt Martha, I did as you suggested. I went to the museum and met the most charming woman. Goody, 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 goody. What grade are you in? <laughs> I really want this to work out, so please give me some advice on how to plan the perfect date. Oh, Sophia, I don't know. I mean, this raises so many ethical and moral questions. Dare I cross the line? I got news for you, sister. That line's behind you. <laughs> so, uh... Where does your boss keep that scotch? Steaks are on. Oh, great. Let me buy you beer. Ah, uh, great. Thank you. Now, this is no tornado, sir. What have you been doing all these years? Well, a couple of weeks after our fight, I got transferred to an icebreaker in the yard. It froze my butt off. <laughs> yeah, listen. A lot of us got lousy transfers. Oh, is that right, Harry? Where'd the Navy send you? <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> Holly, what are you doing e e eating that steak? The other one fell on the coals. <laughs> Want a bite? No, thanks. M.J. Mulvaney. Charlie Dietz. Oh, uh, yeah. So, you still got that middleweight trophy, Harry? Oh, who, I don't know. It's probably up in the attic somewhere. No, it isn't. It's in your den with a light shining on it. <laughs> you know, Harry, if things had turned out differently, that trophy would be in my den and this guy would be eating my steaks. Cool. More steaks. <laughs> think, Harry? You think, uh, hey, huh? Still got the, uh, got the old moves? <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah, I still got the moves. A little stiffer, but I can still put you down. <laughs> he puts me down all the time. <laughs> Bing! Right there, Harry. That could have changed my life. Oh, come on, Mulvaney. It's only a fight. Yeah? Well, all I know is that everything changed after that. You got married, you started a family, I started a family, then I got married. <laughs> you became a successful doctor. I push paper clips. You live in this great house. 
I push paper clips. Hey, have you seen Harry's new car? Ah, uh, gee, Tony, I'm sorry things didn't work out well for you. I'm, boy, I wish there was something I could do. There is. You can give me a rematch. <laughs> A rematch. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> no, it isn't. Fight, fight! Just <laughs> shut up. Oh, I get it. The big rich doctor is afraid that I won't slip this time and he won't be able to hit me on the way down. Hey, Mulvaney, I beat you fair and square. He's calling you a liar. Fight, fight! Shut <laughs> up! Weston, if you were any kind of a man, you'd give me a chance to win my pride back. You know where you can reach me. Harry, one piece of advice. No sex before a fight. <laughs> Look who I'm talking to. The whole evening was perfect. I couldn't have planned it better myself. Not that I would have, because I couldn't have. Will I see you again? Oh, I... I didn't hear your answer, but it felt like you said linoleum. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Au revoir. Bonsoir. Carol's got a boyfriend. Carol's got a boyfriend. You were watching us, you cretin. I wouldn't watch you with a guy. Now, you and Connie Chung, that I'd watch. <laughs> You're back. Oh, Sophia, thank you so much for babysitting. How is my little angel? I'm fine. <laughs> and the kids asleep. So, Carol, Sophia told me all about your Aunt Martha scam. This is great. You're taking out all the guesswork for the guy. It's like a map to Pantyland. <laughs> Get out of my house, you sleaze. Oh, I'm the sleaze. Like, what's good for the goose isn't good for the... Boy, Goose. Sophia, Charlie's right. This whole relationship is based on deception. So what? So I can't do this. My conscience won't allow it. Suit yourself. But a conscience will never give you a hickey. <laughs> No, I can't. Morning, Carol. Mr. Braxton, I need to speak to you. Me first. I got a brilliant idea. Engraved license plate frames. We put witty little sayings on them like, you're ugly, <laughs> or up yours. Mr. Braxton, I can't write the Aunt Martha column this week. Why? Because then I wouldn't have enough time to work on your terrific license plate idea. Good point. Yes, I've already thought of a saying. Honk if you love yoga. Change yoga to tequila and you got the job. Great, great. Uh, these are today's letters. Please start with this one. It's urgent. Okay. Dear Aunt Martha... Thanks to you, my date was a romantic success. Oh, he's so sweet. Whatever. Let's see. A former lover has contacted me with the intention of reconciliation. I am in an emotional quagmire. Where did this guy swallow a freaking dictionary? Read, just read. My dilemma is that I have feelings for both women. What shall I do? Signed, Wistful in Miami. Oh, this is terrible. Not really. This is easy. Dear Wistful, your only problem is a scheduling problem. <laughs> Keep both broads. <laughs> Mr. Braxton, I, I, I think your advice is very irresponsible. Oh, yeah. You're right. P.S. Use condoms. Hey, we got some stationery from that Mulvaney fella. It says, 
memo pads from the coop of Harry Weston. I think he's calling you chicken. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? These things can goad me into a fight, come on. I mean, can you imagine the two of us putting on the gloves, climbing into the ring and duking it out? Oh, come on, Harry. It'd be so exciting. I could be in your corner. I'd give you water and you'd spit in a bucket. Then you'd say, cut me, Maxine, I can't see. And I could cut your swollen eyelid and blood would squirt out. Oh, Ma Maxine, I'm not fighting. I just let it go. But he can't let it go, Harry. Think about the man's pride. No! Okay, and think about me and how bad I really want to cut your eye. Let's go. He carries his right hand low, Harry. Hook him. <laughs> Mulvaney, I'm not getting into the ring with you. It won't prove anything. It won't change anything. May I make a suggestion? No. <laughs> Back in Hickory, I found myself embroiled in a similar situation with my third grade nemesis, Vern Tipson. See, I accidentally ate his lunch. It was an honest mistake. His sack said, Vern, and I thought the law was just hidden in a wrinkle. <laughs> he wanted to fight me. There isn't going to be any fight, Laverne. Well, if you wouldn't interrupt, you would find that Vern and I came to a much more civil resolution. We threw horseshoes. Good for you, Laverne. At each other's ankles. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a great idea. If you don't want to fight, I'll just beat you at something else. Mulvaney, that's ridiculous. It's the least you can do give him back his pride. It's okay. You're a big man with a successful life. You don't need to indulge a little guy like me. All right, fine, fine. We'll, we'll do something else. How about darts? Got a bad shoulder. Basketball. Can't jump. <laughs> if you think of something, let me know. Uh, hockey. Huh? Can't skate. What about wrestling? Now that's fixed. <laughs> will be closing in 15 minutes. I'm sorry I'm late. Something came up. Something or someone. Okay, someone. My boss. Did you see the new exhibit? Is this a new boss or an old boss who wants you back? It's my regular boss. Look, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I just lost track of the time. No, it's fine. You're here. Let's have our date. Okay. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. What do you think? I see deceit, betrayal, <laughs> infidelity. Carol, it's a clown. No, 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 she's right. Somebody finally understands my work. <laughs> Carol, are you all right? Okay, Kevin, look, let's just lay our cards on the table, all right? I'm Aunt Martha. Okay, and I'm Uncle Kevin? <laughs> uh, help me out here, Carol. The Dade County Crier? My advice column you wrote to me, I told you to go to the museum to meet women, blue coat, old spice. We met you. You don't have the slightest idea what I'm talking about, do you? No, I don't. Oh, my God, you're not wistful in Miami, are you? No, I'm confused in a museum. <laughs> what are you saying? You, you thought you were meeting some guy who wrote to you for advice? Kevin, I'm so sorry. Oh, man, I gotta tell you, this is really weird. I know, and I wouldn't blame you if you never wanted to see me again. Well, what if I do? Do you? Well, I know it's a little weird, but... You know, if you hadn't have done it, we wouldn't have met. <sighs> okay. Where would Aunt Martha advise me to take my girl tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Any place you want. I'm out of jail. I go to chance. I take a card, go back to jail. 
Your turn, Weston. Uh, I pass. You can't pass. And you've been around this board five times, and you haven't bought a thing. Fine, all right, yeah. I'll buy the next thing I land on. Fine. One, two, three, four. Boardwalk. It figures. <laughs> Come on, doubles. Box cars again. My luck is changing. I am out of here. <laughs> Advanced token to boardwalk. <laughs> Yeah, story of my life. Come on, it's only a game. It's easy for you. You're the race car. <laughs> we roll for the race car. I didn't make you take the thimble. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it's just like everything else. The dice never roll for me. They, they never have. Tornado, listen to me. Please, pay attention to me. Just because somebody wins a fight or lands on boardwalk doesn't make you less of a person. Come on, you gotta stop looking at what other people have. Stop looking at what's out there for you to get. Hey, uh, looks to me like you're a pretty good salesman. How good could I be? I've been here four days, haven't sold you a damn thing. <laughs> I paid for it with my own money. It's not gonna go bad. They just have them put it in the storage room. Gordon? MJ. <laughs> of course it worked. <laughs> Listen, uh, there's this guy in Tallahassee that I went to junior high school with, uh, yeah. He beat me out in a spelling bee, so uh, I'll give you a call when I get down there. <laughs> so mad because you hate the dog I don't hate the dog okay then the dog hates you 